I'm Madison from the Tuckered In Seaport, and I'm here to talk a little bit about the Junior Duck Stamp Competition, which is a student art competition that runs every year. Some of you may have heard about it before, or entered yourself, or you may have seen our exhibition of entries at the Seaport. The Seaport is the organizer for New Jersey, so after we organize and choose a winner for the state, that student will go on to the national level. This year, we received many beautiful entries, but in light of the current stay-at-home situation, we created a virtual traveling exhibit of those entries. I'm here today to show you the winners of each age group in this video. For our first group, we have grades K through 3. In third place, we have Tio Schumann, age 9, with a buffle head. Second place, we have Rebecca Shi, age 7, with a dabbling duck. And first place, we have John Schumann, age 7, with a northern shoveler. For our second group, we have grades 4 through 6. Third place is Eugene Quintana, age 11, with a fulvous whistling duck. Second place is Sarah Chun, age 11, with a mallard. And first place is Haewon Choi, age 12, with a wood duck. In group three, we have grades seven through nine. In third place, we have Jiayi Uyang, age 15, with a ruddy duck. Second place, we have Hoyan Yang, age 16, with a red-breasted merganser. And first place, we have Lucy Liu, age 15, with a common merganser. Group four, our last group, is grades 10 through 12. In third place, we have Jejun Park, age 18, with a northern pintail. Second place, we have Tian Ran Song, age 16, with a mallard. And first place, we have Hayeri Chun, age 17, with a king eider. And for our overall winner of Best in Show, it comes from group three. And it's Lucy Liu, age 15, with the common merganser. The Junior Duck Stamp Competition is an annual competition, so you can encourage your K-12 students to enter next year. You might even want to start your entry now as part of making the most of your time at home. For more information, you can visit the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service website, where they have all the rules listed and the list of eligible species that you can create in your stamp which I believe stays the same every year. The submissions are collected in March for next year's competition. Thank you for watching and thank you to all of our participants this year. The Seaport loves seeing all of your original and hard work each year.